Dick, what do you uh, what do you have here? Well, you know, we'd like to demonstrate this uh, testing device made to test the wind resistance on ore shafts. So we have a motor here that we can accurately control the speed of. And on this turntable here, we have a um, load cell that measures the force or torque on this spinning table. And it sends the um, force data wirelessly over to the computer station there. You can run this with combinations of skull shafts, sweep shafts, with and without blades, and um, later on crunch the numbers and determine how important uh, wind resistance on the shaft. All right, up. Uh, see you coming. So this is like a wind tunnel, except the wind isn't going past the uh, oars. The oars rotate inside the building here. So we'll collect data at incremental speeds up to um, the, the equivalent of a uh, about a 20 mile an hour headwind. So Trevor, Trevor how, how many RPM does it typically get up to? Well, we, we ramp up from 30 RPM, which is what it's spinning at now, uh, up to about 80, and that's sort of above any theoretical headwind that you'd actually see. But uh, we usually go in five RPM increments. So we'll bring it up. Let's take it up to speed. So really what we're looking at is a combination of a headwind and also the speed of the ore on the recovery. Because it, if you're in a headwind on the recovery, the ore is going really fast against the wind. The ultimate goal here is to compare uh, different shafts, the skinny shaft versus the normal shaft, and, and just to get a sense of what the difference is. So this is 50 RPM. 50 RPM. 